Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LJ's Garage. Today we're sitting in the studio and I just wanted to take a minute to celebrate 2023 with you guys. So it's been an awesome year or was an awesome year and I'm looking forward to 2024. In 2023, I hit a major milestone. I was able to hit 10,000 subscribers and I am beyond pumped, grateful and all of those things. So 2024 will be year number five, I believe of doing this YouTube channel. So it's been some time as you can imagine. And I appreciate all of you guys and I'm looking forward to some new cars and some 2024, 2025 models. With social media always changing, it's tough to stay on top of everything. And so I've been guilty of falling off a little bit when it comes to TikTok. It's not really a platform that I love all that much, but I'm still getting into it. And even just with the dealerships too, those challenges of social media, a lot of them now have their own social media teams and so it's been a little bit tricky to get cars or get content in the way that I always do. So I have been getting a lot of no's or you can't film this or whatnot. And so it's kind of got me a little down, but I will be back on that horse and be ready to take some yeses and some no's and just kind of roll with the punches. So with that being said, thank you guys again for an awesome 2023. Now that I have a little bit better of a platform, hopefully that means that people will be willing to say yes, or I'll just have to change their mind, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I have a lot of things that I'm gonna do next year and hopefully you guys have started talking about some changes, resolutions, all those things. I'm not a huge resolution person, but there's a lot of things that I line up as my goals for the year and I hope that you guys kind of do the same and figure out what you're gonna get after in 2024. So whether that's working out, whether that's traveling more, whether that's spending more time with people, whatever it may be, I hope that you guys kind of started thinking about those things. And for me, it's really just what do I want to do with this channel? What do I want to do with this platform? As you can see, I've started kind of working on the studio, getting things a little bit better in here so that I can do more videos and, you know, fill in those times where I don't have cars necessarily and just kind of talk to you guys. I do want to get into the habit of doing, you know, YouTube shorts and TikTok a lot more if I can. That short form content is it does serve a place. Same with Instagram Reels and do more of those things. I tend to not really like that part of social media. It's kind of daunting, but I'm gonna get better at it. And I'm gonna work on it because growth is always good, right? You can't have success on social media without adapting to those changes. And unfortunately, fortunately, you know, it requires a little bit of flexibility. So I am gonna do that. Some of the cars that I'm excited to film this year, I just wanted to share some right off the bat. The Kia EV9, I know that's gonna sound crazy to some of you, but I'm liking these futuristic EVs and all of to what's come with that. Um, I'm not the biggest EV fanatic. As you guys have seen, there are no EVs on the channel. So that's something that I want to change moving forward. I do know a good bit about them. The problem is I just don't get excited about them. And I know that you can't not be excited about EVs because they're technically cars. But for some reason, they just feel like actually funny enough. I just learned the other day, I was watching Throttle's uh, 350Z uh, Tesla swap, and they were joking about how you can control an electric car with um, an RC remote controller and basically set them up the same. And when you really break it down, it is crazy that electric cars and people joke that they're like toys, but it really in, in a way is kind of like a toy car. But of course, with responsibility, speed, performance, all those things, there's a lot of good things with EVs. And I know that uh, I would be dumb to sit here and avoid those for the channel and for just the sake of me being better as a car person or a car guy as I claim to be. I don't know what any, if there are any purchases in my future for an EV with these prices. I'm still a used car fanatic, so we'll see what the used car market for EVs look like and then we can talk about that. But I am still on my Raptor hunt, so you guys might be seeing that this year or the X5, I haven't quite decided, or Bronco, one of those three are pretty high up on my list of next cars that I'm going to be after. But the next up I wanna talk about is the Honda Civic Type R and its Acura counterpart. I love the new Civic Type R and I think it looks better than the last generation, more tame, but it's something that I'm looking forward to filming and I'm hoping that I can get my hands on one of those. That'll be a lot of fun. The new Mustang Dark Horse, also something that I love and I'm excited to see what these new Mustangs can do. When it comes to muscle cars, I'm not really like a Camaro fanatic, a Mustang fanatic, fanatic or a Charger fanatic. But if I had to pick one of the three, I'll let you guys decide which one my favorite is. And yes, I can handle a joke. So I know what you're gonna say. It's probably the Charger and Challenger. You're probably right. Um, the next up on that list is the Toyota Sequoia. 
I know that it's weird to say that an SUV is something I'm looking forward to filming, but I've actually been enjoying a lot of my SUV videos and the SUV content because that's kind of where the market's at. And people and ma the manufacturers are putting a lot of their money towards those specific uh, segments of cars. And so you get a lot of cool things, you know, massage seats, uh, all these little child proof thingies and things for parents and all that. So it makes for really cool gizmos and gadgets and quirks and features as you may call them. So I actually look forward to a lot of those uh, new EVs and new SUV EVs, SUV EVs, VVs, I don't know. Next up on that list, Toyota Tacoma. Toyota has been killing it lately with cars. And so the Tacoma is no exception to that. Um, I'm <laughs> then I have some crazy ones on here. The Hummer EV, I just wanna get my hands on one. I don't care if you have one and you want me to come film it, let me know. I'll definitely go travel wherever to get a Hummer EV. I just wanna sit in one, see one, experience one, and you know, just have some fun filming with those type of things. Tesla of any sort, I see all the jokes, I hear people talking about Teslas, and I have been presented the opportunity to film and drive Teslas, but I just, it's just not there yet. But I think this year I'm gonna open up and be more responsive to those offers. And uh, I'm actually in some EV groups as I speak, and I've had some opportunities with those guys. They do car meets just like everybody else, but they have like EV meetups. And I've been hesitant on going. Actually, I've never been to any of them. So this year, I'm gonna do more of that. I'm gonna see what these guys do at these EV meets, see what the car guys are like there. Um, you know, just go in with uh, no expectations and just kind of soak it all up, see what it's all about. Um, and then the complete opposite of that, I've got the V8 Wrangler still has avoided me for years. Every time I find one, they're on the showroom floor and nobody wants to move it. And I don't I don't like having dealerships move cars for me. So if it's not easily accessible, I'm not really gonna bother. And then the Ram TRX. I did have the opportunity to film one and I kind of missed out, but I wasn't really enjoying the atmosphere of the dealership all too much. So I decided to pass on that, which has happened quite a bit, just like you guys probably do not enjoy going to the car dealership. There are certain dealerships that I just do not enjoy or don't get a good feel for. And so if I don't get a good feel, I'll leave. I'd rather not deal with people or certain types of things at certain dealerships. And instead of having a negative experience, which I could share those, I just share the positive stuff and support the dealerships that do good things. It makes it a lot easier for me and it avoids me having to give publicity to anyone. Cause sometimes negative, positive, it doesn't really matter. Publicity is publicity and I don't wanna help anyone sell cars that doesn't really deserve it. So with all that being said, I'm looking forward to 2024. I know that was kind of a rant. I didn't really have any notes for this video. I also just wanted to try out this cool new little microphone and everything. So I don't know, I've got a nice little list going and I'm sure I can think of a dozen more cars that are on that list. I have nothing BMW for a reason. I don't wanna be that BMW fanatic and of course there's still going to be repairs and motorcycle content all of the above so i'm looking forward to all of it and if you guys have any questions comments concerns go ahead and drop whatever car of 2024 you are looking forward to seeing on the channel or maybe one that you're considering buying but i just want to once again thank you guys for all the continued support you know tuning in and watching me do crazy things on this channel not really that crazy i review minivans at times i wouldn't say that's too crazy but at the same time, I do have fun doing what I do and it would be nice to get more uh, flexibility with a lot of these dealerships as we move into the new year so that weekly I can continue giving you guys the content that I enjoy. So if you got any anything else, just uh, let me know. Let me know how you guys have been enjoying the 2023 now that it's over and what you're looking forward to 2024. Let's talk, let's chat. But otherwise, I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.